All right, before we get started on all this, I just thought I'd lay out the requirements, what you need to save you the frustration. If you don't have any of these things, I'm sorry, Visions of Chaos might not be for you. So, first thing needed is 400 gigabytes of hard drive space. Um, getting Visions of Chaos up and running requires a lot of different machine learning scripts, Python environments, um, and you need a lot of dependencies to make sure that all of these various tools work appropriately on your machine locally. So, if you don't have adequate hard drive space, or if you're thinking of throwing this on your C drive, I would recommend putting it on its own um, in its own place and uh, somewhere where you'll have plenty of room for all the images and uh, image sequences that you'll be rendering out with it. So, that's my advice. Number two, and I'll talk about this a little bit more later on, but you're gonna want a decent graphics card. You're gonna want something with um, eight to 10 minimum gigabytes of video RAM. Um, I have 10 gigabytes worth of video RAM and I can utilize just about every script within Visions of Chaos. Um, if you have more than that, you're gonna have a better time. If you have less than that, you're probably gonna have a worse time. That's just how it is. Um, and finally, you're gonna have to have a little bit of patience. This is the cutting edge. Um, there's only one developer working on this software, and while they are very active on their Discord, and I highly recommend you going to their Patreon and giving them a little bit of money, especially if you get this up and running and you utilize these images, um, it is just one person. So don't harass them. Don't be mad if something doesn't work. Be glad that it's even possible to begin with. All right, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna kick it off to other Joe who's already recorded the video. And uh, here we go. Howdy ho, Joe here. You can call me Dr. Diffusion. Figured I'd do a little video today showing how to get Visions of Chaos up and running on your Windows 10 PC so that you can utilize scripts such as Disco Diffusion or Stable Diffusion uh, on your local hardware. So, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is install the EXE. You can get that by going to the link in the description. You can click here at the top to go to the download section, and by clicking here, you can get that. Um, for whatever reason, Malwarebytes thinks this is a little sus. I've been using it for a while now. I trust it, so why don't they? Um, now, full disclosure, uh, Visions of Chaos it will require a pretty beefy video card to be able to actually utilize um, these scripts appropriately. So if you have less than eight gigabytes of VRAM, um, this probably isn't going to work for you very well. Um, ideally, you have at least 10 gigabytes of video RAM. That's what I have. That's how I'm able to utilize Stable Diffusion. Um, you might still be able to with uh, lower settings. And if you have a 3090, you're golden. Anywho, uh, make sure your video card drivers are up to date. Alright, so we're going to install Visions of Chaos here. Just follow these steps here, pick where you want it to go. Um, I'm not going to actually install it because I've already done so. So I'm just going to abort that. Now, you're going to want to come back to the Visions of Chaos website. And underneath the download section here, there is a section for machine learning support. So if you want to use machine learning related models, you're going to have to perform these extra steps. So click here, and uh, right there is your disclaimer about needing video RAM. Um, unfortunately, it's just how these uh, scripts work. Um, so if you go through this uh, very competent guide, it'll have you update your GPU drivers, uh, download CUDA, so you follow the link here, download the uh, version 11.2.2 March 2021 and install it. Um, by default, NVIDIA installer wants to install a lot of extra drivers. You only need the compiler and library options checked. So it's good to know. Um, next, you download CU DNN, um, the January 6th, 2021 version from right here. You extract it, the raw into a temporary folder, copy the 7DLL uh, files from the RAR into this directory here. 
Um, next, you're going to need to add a add Cura to path. So um, open your system control panel, go to advanced system settings, and uh, click the environment variables button. Um, and you go in and you add a new path for um, CUDA. So follow these instructions. Next, you're going to want to verify um, that things work. So you go into the command prompt, type in NVCC, and you should get a specific um, response as detailed here. Next, you need to install Visual, uh, Visual Studio Community Edition. Um, make sure you follow these instructions appropriately. It tells you exactly what you need to do. I believe you just have to click through, make sure that you have the same things checked. Um, then you need to add Video Studio to Path as well, just like you did with CUDA. Verify with the command line, just to make sure things are installed appropriately. Um, download and install CMake from the link in this guide. You can verify with command prompt. Download and install Git. Verify Git. Download and install the latest 64-bit HDR version of Image Magic right here. You only need these two boxes checked. You can leave everything else the same. Um, next, download Python 3.9 here. Um, the newest uh, 3.10 version won't work, so make sure it's the 64-bit version. Uh, the first setup page shows the 32-bit. Cancel and download the 64-bit. Any version of 3.9 should work just fine. Um, install it, making sure you check the Add Python to Path checks box. So make sure you don't skip that. If you install Python outside the program files directory, so if you make your own um, um, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna. Anyway, uh, then you create library environments for your Python library directory, following these instructions here. And if you really want, you can enable long file name support. Uh, I don't believe I did this, but that might help, especially when it comes to um, when things get named, some file names can get very long. So after you do all of that, you open up. Visions of Chaos. Uh, you can always open it up before doing the, the machine learning setup. There are a number of uh, things that you can do with it, uh, including like 3D simulations, um, some pretty cool stuff. But we'll make another video of diving into that another time. Um, once you launch it up, go Options, go over to Machine Learning, and you're going to want to check machine learning. And this is going to run a bunch of tests and um, check and make sure that you have all the dependencies that you need. The first time doing this, you will likely fail and it will um, likely need to install Python environments and download models for various scripts, which could take quite some time. Um, that being said, once everything is squared away, you'll get this message here saying everything's good to go. And you can go into modes, machine learning, image generation, text to image, and from here, you have access to uh, over 30 different uh, text-to-image scripts that have been added um, by this amazing developer. So Stable Diffusion is the latest. You go into your options here. If it's not working, it's because your image count's too high. You're going to want to change those to 1 and grid columns also to 1. You can adjust the scale uh, any way you want. And um, your image strength. Um, this is if you're using an initial image, and the lower this number is, believe it or not, uh, the closer it will be to the supplied image. I know that's a little backwards, but that's how it seems to work. Um, what else am I thinking? So you can create uh, videos with Stable Diffusion by checking the Create Recursive Movie box here, and then if you click Generate, you'll get the second box for uh, text image recursive movie zoom options and um, oh there's some new settings here actually this has changed since the last time I've seen it I like to check these auto levels uh, change the saturation to 90 and um, I keep my zoom at 1.01 .01. Um, you can always add pan or 
buttons, the X or Y, you can rotate, um, you can try zooming out, there's, there's all sorts of things that you can do. Um, and then when you hit OK, And now this is going to go through and create an image. And um, you can change, right here it says iterations 50. You can increase that or decrease that. That is how many samples um, it will do, how many steps of diffusion. Um, there's you know different ways you can terminalize that. Um, 50 works fine, I find 80 is pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to work while recording. Oh, there we go. It's kicking away pretty well actually and at 50 it should give us a final image so boom and then it will adapt it should zoom slightly by 0 0.01 and then it will use that image as a oh actually yeah anyway so that's how you do it that's how you get stable diffusion working and um yeah here it is so get out there create something amazing and uh, please uh, link it in the comments below. Show me what you're doing. If you have any questions, if you um, about settings, about other features and visions of chaos, anything, everything, um, I'm right here. Thanks, everybody. I'm gonna close out the video with some animations that I've made recently with this amazing software, so you can get a feel for what's possible. Um, I have utilized other programs to interpolate, upscale. Uh, clean up these uh, videos before putting them out anywhere. Uh, I can do some follow-up videos where I showcase some of those techniques and uh, best practices. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. So if you made it this far, please click the bell, click, click subscribe. There'll be more content like this to come. And as always, keep on thinking on.